Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. I am very excited today because to I thought I heard a footstep. Why is there always something in the intro? As I was saying, I am very excited for today because we are going to dive into tools. I'm very excited about this, so let's get started. The tool station can be used to craft tools that are able to significantly enhance your experience in the vaults. It can also be used to craft tools that can be applied to your vault tool. Acquire a tool station. So that is going to be our first object, if if I could spell that is, that, that would help the progression a little bit. Alright, so tool station, three chromatic iron, one crafting table, and some <laughs> driftwood. That should be fairly easy. I already forgot the recipe, there we go. Uh, yeah, it should be fairly easy to get my hands on this. In fact, I already have a crafting table, so all I need to do is... So all I need to do is to do this, there we go. Now the bounty table is there, which we will have to take a look at soon. Mm, I feel like moving the animals over and maybe making a little bit of a small area over here, because we do have a little bit of height to work with. So maybe this can be a tiny tool station making thingy. Or maybe I just even lower the ground here a little bit, huh? I mean, I'm not gonna make it look pretty right now, but we do require a proper place to conduct our uh th 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 things i mean yeah i think this would work out maybe a little bit of a smithing area with jewels and stuff yep i like this idea so much so that i will go ahead and decorate some of it i really need a shovel though do i have shovel i do have shovel what's my bed okay i like this hmm. yeah i think this is looking pretty decent so all that's left to do now is place this over here and place a torch here and in here maybe there yeah that works all right so we now have the tool station which means we can go ahead and complete this right here which gives us actually two gemstones which is cool now vault tools we should probably read this before yeah, i can't not take a look here we go this is the different tools that we can make. Uh, some or most of them is actually going to be locked. So some will unlock when we reach certain levels. So this will unlock when we reach level 20, level 35, level 50, etc. But we can go ahead and make these tools right here. Chromatic iron stuff. But first, again, we should probably read this before we continue. Vault tools are the successor to vanilla tools. These can be modified with jewels to apply new affinities and traits to the tool. Affinities allow you to break chests, coins at a significantly faster speed, enabling you to instantly mine all coins and chests apart from wooden ones. There are also jewels that can change the tool's functionality to include that of another. For example, you could put a shoveling jewel on a pick to create a mattock that can mine as fast as a pickaxe and dig as quick as a shovel. There are also more modifiers that enhance your tool significantly. Item rarity and item quantity both enhance your tool with higher loot capabilities. Trap disarm chance has a chance to disarm some a trapped chest inside the vaults. Mining speed increases base mining speed of your tool. Copiously adds a chance to double the output of a mined vault door inside the vaults. Works with silk touch and fortune. Durability increases the base durability of the tool. Pulverizing acts as a basic tool based replacement to pulverizing slash crushing processing the output of the block that is mined. <laughs> Smelting will smelt the output of the block that is mined. Hammering can be applied to the hammers to increase the mining area of effect. Soulbound makes the tool stay in your inventory even, though, even through death. Vanilla Immortality applies a chance for your tool to not take durability outside of vaults. At 100% it will make your tool unbreakable. Reach increases the range at which the player can interact with blocks. Craft a chromatic iron pickaxe. We will go ahead and do that. That was a lot of reading. I do apologize. So we have this chest right here with a bunch of jewels. So what I think I'm actually going to do is go ahead and do it. I thought I saw a spare chest. Oh wait, I do have one. There we go. Actually, I'll go ahead and take a double chest because then... I can go ahead and put that down. Oh, that looks bad. That looks... I do apologize for that. That looks horrendous. Right, I might actually have to move some things around here. Better. Much better. All right, now I can go ahead and take all the jewels. And go ahead and place them into this chest. Now I will be needing some chromatic iron. I should probably set some of this to smelt as well in my absence. Do I not have... I'm sorry, do I not have coal? I don't have coal. That's weird. Never mind about smelting then. All right, so the quest requires us to make a chromatic iron pickaxe. And that actually requires more than just chromatic iron. Because we need driftwood and vault bronze. So we do need to get some coins down there, which is good, because we do have quite a bit. I'll convert that, and I will also bring some driftwood down there. So if we can do that, that might be 
bit too much. Let's just do it. Two stacks should be fine for now. I don't know if I can actually... Yes, I can add all the stuff in here, which is cool. I'm going to make the pickaxe because that is what the quest tells us to. Later, we will probably do some other things as well. There we go. And we will get a chip jewel. 50 size. Ornate affinity. Definitely, definitely want that. Ooh. Ooh. Why, is, why does it have two sizes? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, before we continue, let's take a look at jewels. The jewel applicator makes applying jewels to your tools as simple as never by providing you with the means of easily seeing the outcome of your tool. The jewel applicator has three parts of its inventory. The left side is where you can put your jewels, showing you the total outcome of if they were placed in your tool. The middle is where you place your tool and can also see the visual output of combining tool type jewels like shoveling or axing for example. Lastly, the right side will show you the updated stats using the jewels placed on the left side, automatically calculating capacity and all your prefixes and suffixes as you place jewels into the applicator. Each jewel is given a size which can roll from 10 to 90 and this decides how much of the capacity of your tool will be used up. Acquire a jewel applicator. Which all of that makes sense except that this has two sizes and none of these has two sizes. I don't think that's that. I don't. I don't think that that was supposed to happen. Anyway, a jewel applicator. We also have the jewel cutting station actually. But for now, we need the jewel applicator, which means we need the gemstone, driftwood planks, and anvil. So we do have this. I need to get some driftwood planks. Apparently, I'm not gonna lie. Didn't even know that that was a thing. And I'll be needing an anvil as well. There we go. Anvil made, and jewel applicator has been crafted, which means I will get four chromatic seal and. And I have completed a quest apparently for expertises, which I haven't even. Yeah, we'll get back to that. Right now, we want the jewel applicator, and I do actually also want to make the jewel cutting station. I don't think I can do that just yet. Um, yeah, six Laramara. I, I do have it. I really do need a fortune pickaxe. Right, so this is a jewel applicator. We can add the pickaxe, and then let's say we wanted this, uh, this ornate uh, affinity thing here. So if we add that. Okay, so it is the top size that apparently has an effect here. So that removes 50 of the capacity. Now, this is what the quest wanted us to do. I need to rethink what exactly... Oh, it has 9 mining speed. That's not bad. I need to decide exactly how what tools I want to make here. Also, because I need to take a look at the amount of different jewels I have. Because we definitely want something with coin affinity. This, in fact, is our only coin affinity jewel so that is going to be very valuable and we have gilded affinity and that actually is our only gilded aff affinity right there and wooden affinity this means we can chop down uh or destroy wooden chests this means we can mine gilded chests however the sizes of these are pretty big. So we have durability jewels up here. We have smelting. We have soulbound. We have picking, mining speed, uh, copi copiously, which is actually pretty good. Living affinity, so we can mine living chests. But here's the thing. This pickaxe only has 100 capacity, so I can only fit. A lot of these jewels are actually pretty big. I would love the wooden affinity, but that means I would need the axing. Uh, 20, that is an 86. They, these two could be could be combined, but then I would have no more capacity on this, so I might as well get an axe for that. So if I got an axe and got this, the picking is actually not bad, because that means I could give that to an axe, and it will have the ability of a pickaxe. And if it is a pickaxe, then 18 plus 26, that's going to be 36, and then 44, I think, which means I could add ornate as well. So one tool to break wood, and ornate, now gilded, living, and coin. Coin, I really, really do want. I have an idea for that though, so I'm gonna leave that on on its on its own. I think I'm gonna have to wait with these because the jewels are just too big for me to use. But these, however, are not too bad. This I can save for fortune. I'm going to try and make an axe. Then in here, I'm going to try and add the picking, which means it's going to become a pickaxe as well. Then I'm going to add the wood affinity, which means we can mine up uh, wooden chests. Then the ornate affinity right there. Um, let me think. Yes. And that leaves us with six capacity. I just need to check something. Are these tools... Yes, these tools are enchantable, so that means I can give it fortune or whatever. Right, let's do it. There we go. That is our first custom tools using jewels. A chromatic iron cutter, 11-7. Capacity remaining is six. Durability is not too bad. Six mighty speed. Axing. Picking, wooden affinity, and ornate affinity. This can then be given 
uh, Unbreaking, and I suppose part of me really wants to just get Fortune on this, because I do have Soul Clutch on this, so getting Fortune here is probably going to be the better choice. So let's see. Uh, Fortune, yes. Unbreaking, and getting Efficiency 5, yes. Yes. This is our new amazing tool right here. This bad boy right here. I'm already loving it. Now we do have this coin affinity, which I do want to pick up more coins. So I'm going to make this iron sickle. I don't know what this sickle is actually uh, normally used for. However, I'm going to add this, the coin affinity on this. And let me see if there's anything else. So the capacity remaining is 41. Anything below 41. I could add shoveling. Don't really care for that though. Item quantity. I don't know if that has an effect. Could add more durability. Could add more mining speed. What's the mining speed at? Mining speed is 9. I think that's fine. Yeah, I, th I think this is fine. That's all I wanted for this is coin affinity. Just something that can pick up coin affinity. Uh, so that can replace the axe basically. So I can put that away to be honest. Together with the shovel. Uh, I do want more emeralds. But I, I'm out. <laughs> Uh, do I have any? I do have some stacks. Hold on. You might be willing to trade. Hello. Yes. Perfect. Unless you're doing business with you. So that means I do have this. So I can do Unbreaking 3. And let's just do Efficiency 5 as well. Very good deal. So now I'm going to replace my pickaxe and this. Uh, now I just need to remember that these actually do have durability in the overworld. So that's something to remember. But I think... We should get into a vault here because we need to test and test these tools out and I am so excited for it. We do have expertises, which apparently I have already reached level vault level five. So I should probably read this. If I'm not mistaken, we already took one in fortunate, which gains passive fortune levels that are applied whenever you use a fortune tool to break blocks, which now happens with this tool. So let's read it real quick. Actually, I'm going to do that up here. <laughs> more, more silence. Expertises are gained by spending expertise points which are obtained every five levels. Expertises are similar to talents, providing passive buffs to the player. However, these are targeted towards more specific use cases such as Fortunate, which can add two additional fortune levels to the player, or Angel, which allows you to craft an Angel block which provides creative flight in a 64 block radius around it. That's cool. There are a total of 20 expertise points to be acquired through your playthrough, and due to their utility, they are not as easy to reset, requiring a neutralizer rather than a regret orb. I'm just going to complete that, and then we get to for forging gear and magnets. But again, I want to do I want to do a vault run before we get into any of that. However, we did get this, which I'm just going to convert into vault silver. <laughs> no wheat. That's a problem. I'm only growing potatoes. Aha. Uh -huh. That should do. Doop, 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 doop. There we go. And the vault crystal completed. Now I have my water bucket. I have this. I have this, of course. And we shouldn't forget to grab a bounty before we leave. That is going to be very important. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Item submission, submit 232 polished vault stones to the bounty table. This still exists. <laughs> Uh, okay, find 10 vault assets in the vault. That's not too bad, actually. Or a kill vault fighters in the vault 5. Mystery box, knowledge essence. Ooh, both of these are actually good. Um, I think I'll take... I'll take this. Find 10 vault essence. That shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and enter the vault. Let's go. All right, and it is a monolith vault. Not too bad. I didn't bring any blocks. Oh dear. Oh dear. Maybe I should have brought a normal pickaxe with me just for the sake of being able to mine stuff without actually do, do using durability. Oh, stop it. Well, this will just have to do. Oh, wolf fighter. Maybe that's what I should have picked. Now, I should be able to just do this. Oh yeah. And with Magnodon. Perfect. So much easier. The next, That just means the, the mod that I'm going to have to unlock is pouches. It's just gonna have to be it. Uh -huh. Ow. Ow. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. No. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh. Uh. Yes. Two minutes. Bonus heart. Sounds good. Sounds good. Ow. Please. Uh. Owie. So much easier to loot though. Looks like we already spawned these in. Okay. Look at my health. I'm sorry, but look look at my health. <laughs> it's been a while since I last... Uh, there we go, that's my heal button. Since I last ran one of these.
company incoming. Oh yeah, I have to remember, I have the vial as well. Ooh, this is a perfect test for our pickaxe. Yep, look at that. Perfect, and our bounty is complete as well. Looting just got a whole lot more efficient. I actually think I cleared the entire room except for up here. Oh, what am I doing? Old habits die hard. I hate baby zombies. All right, I think this room has been looted. Uh, we'll just pretend that I did that properly. Next room. Well, this is a bit worrying. I haven't found a monolith yet. However, this is only my second room, so... <laughs> There's a good chance of me finding one now. Yep, more ornate chests. Perfect to test my pickaxe capabilities. Ooh, what do we got here? I believe this is an ore location thing. Oop, wrong thing. We did get some Laramar there. We do have more Laramar down here. And Bedrotite. Five Bedrotite gems. Oh, what? What on earth? Get out. This, this is my spot. Three Ashium, five Bedrotite, and Laramar. Ooh, I almost walked away from this. Uh, can't get that. There we go. Nice. Worth it. Every single step of the way. That means I can actually get rid of this. Turn off magnet. Get rid of that. And boom. I got my blocks again. I just noticed I missed this. That's not okay. Looting is just so much faster and so much more fun now. I've only been to two rooms and almost half the time is already passed. So I need to pick, I need to get a move on here. I'm just having so much fun. Ooh, living. Not bad. Ow. Ooh, and the final monolith. I can't really be bothered climbing to get those. So I can't mine any of this. As you can see, it just takes a very long time. So for this, I might as well just go in and drop the stuff. Until I can properly afford the living affinity. Okay, okay, hello. Ooh, there's a dungeon over here. I can see that on the map. I definitely want to see if I can try and find that. Because it could have some good stuff to mine down. There it is. And now these spawners. I'm scared. These spawners will have to be... What? I'm just gonna... I really don't know if I can trust putting my back to this, actually. Oh, slime. I can't really reach that. Okay. Interesting. Please let me get this. Don't move. Nobody move. Please, nobody move. Yes, got it. Now, I just have to eliminate them. Oh, spider. The lava for this would be ideal. I really hope this room is... Oh, there's another spawner? Where? Hold on. Where's that? I'm using a lot of time on this. Oh, there it is. I just really hope this is worth it. Can I reach that? Not quite. No, I can. Very slowly. Nobody move. There we go. Okay, so that should be all of them. Okay. Threat pretty much eliminated now, I think. Oh, no. Okay, we got some more stuff over here. I'll have to check that out afterwards. Wooden chests. Uh, I guess there's a lot of it. So I don't know if this was worth five minutes, to be honest. <laughs> Got some knowledge tests though and stuff, so I guess that's good. Yeah, I really don't know if this was worth it. All right, let's see what this what this brings. Ooh, let me to ornate though. Can't complain about that. Yeah, all, all that dungeon was probably not really worth it. All right, ten minutes remaining. I do want to speed it up a little bit and see if I can possibly find anything that is really useful, like a special room or. Living chest, ornate, gilded chest, that kind of stuff. Ooh, coins. That means I can now test my coin digger. Oh, yes. Look at that. That was so fast. <laughs> so much worth it. Wow. All right. Ooh, there's so many chests here. 
Many chests. I call this a pretty decent find. More coins over there. Okay, this room is actually not half bad. Right. I'm not gonna forget about that. Let's see what this is about. Yep, one eight chests. Thought so. At least I thought there would be coins here, but oh wait. A very tiny amount. I'll take it. Oh, hello. Ooh. Unidentified chest chest plate. Yes, please. More on eight over here. Out. Nothing super valuable though. Oh, wow. That was a terrible jump. All right, six minutes and 30 seconds remaining. All right, this is the starting room. I'm gonna head right. Yes, I know directions. As always, I'm just curious. Ornate. Don't know what that stuff is down there. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I thought I saw ornate up here as well. Oh, another monolith. Nothing else interesting though. I think I will stop for those ornate chests. Ooh, wait. That looks interesting. Oh, but there's living as well. Okay, I should be able to do this. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, living, yep, let's take that as well. Uh, that looks like a lot of stuff. More ornate, I'll take it. Nice. Okay, not gonna deal with that, not gonna deal with that. I wanna see what this desert room is. Four minutes left, potentially good stuff. Don't know. Uh, yep. <gasps> That's so much gold coins. That's that's not gold, but coins. That's so much here. Oh no. Why do I always find these rooms towards the end? Why? Why do I do this to myself? I mean look at this stuff. There's so much coins. So many coins here. Gunpowder stack. Oh, that could be turned into gunpowder. Okay, that's cool. Didn't know that. Oh, three minutes though. Three minutes. Three minutes. I can't get up quick. Let's just see what happens. I don't actually have blocks to get back up, I just realized. Um, okay, I'm panicking a little bit. Panicking, panicking, panicking. Uh, panic is over, I believe. Yes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> when we reach 1 minute 30 seconds, I will get out. But until then, look at this. I will get as many coins as I can possibly hold, and I will drop useless things. Two minutes remaining. This room is great. All right, one minute, 50 seconds, one minute and 40. All right, don't want to push it. Don't want to push it. Uh, this is the way out, I'm pretty sure. Let's go home. Yep, yeah, this is where I came from. Let's go. I mean, this is so many coins. And that's the portal. And I'll say this vault was a pretty good success. 89 chests looted, 94 mobs killed and 10,000 XP. Not too shabby if you ask me. And why is it raining? Can we sleep? Yes. All right, we have a bunch of loot to go through, a lot of which are coins. I mean, look at that. That's great. All right, well, since I was destroying a lot of the chests to get the loot, I myself don't exactly know all the cool stuff that we have been getting. So let's take a quick look at the chocolate boxes before I go ahead and sort it all. Yep. We got an unidentified chest plate. I think I'll just identify that right away. We got a bunch of dollar chests in total and also a lot of gems. That is really good as well. Not yet. Yeah, $22 chests. That's actually not too bad. You know what? I'll take all this. And you know what I'm actually going to do before identifying the chest plate? I'm just going to go ahead and turn all of these ores into gems. 31 Laramar. Not bad. Pretty good stuff. Two Pizzite. Benutite. Yep. Doing good. All right, let's identify this. And while that is rolling, we can go ahead and claim our reward. Orc chest plate. Hello. So we can compare three armor, three armor. Actually, that's better armor. Uh, Soulbound, knockback resist, a little bit less durability. Let's take a look here. So my defense is currently 22, 23. And also mine has mana. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use that. It's a really good chest plate. I might keep it as a, as a spare, but to be honest, some, something that I got in the comments as well was a tip that I shouldn't be enchanting my vault armor because it's just going to be a waste of XP and emeralds. 
and you are absolutely right because I get so I get armor so fast here in the early game that I'm going to be most likely switching it out before it even breaks without unbreaking. So enchanting it is kind of just pointless to be honest at this point. But I'm gonna go ahead and sort all of this stuff out, and I will be right back. All right, all the shulker boxes has been sorted. Means we can put them back, fly up, and get the monolith reward. Ooh, okay, that's a bunch of armor, and I see chip jewel. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give all right, common plus boots, common plus chest plate, a shield. Yes, we got a shield and a sword. We got a bunch of vaults of silver, not bad at all. We got two jewels, wooden affinity and gilded affinity. That is still out. That is still 17 though, which this is 75. It's a bit better, not the best though. An orb of regret, some more of this. Oh, we actually got a third one, trap disarm chance. I'll take it. 38 volt diamonds. Actually, we do have quite a few Laramas now. I need to take a look at something. Oh, wait a minute. We got a black seal. Hold up. I just realized that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, let's get these first. Nothing. Okay, blank seal can be used to get a specific seal that we can use on a um, on, on a crystal. Hunt the guardians. Scavenger hunt. We can basically chase the vault objective. Cake hunt. None or the uh, architect, seal of the architect, and elixir rush. I want that. I want so many of these, to be honest. <laughs> I actually want so many of these. I want scavenger hunt is really cool or very fun. Seal of the architect sounds cool as well. Cake hunt is a lot of fun, but elixir rush, that I think is going to be pretty cool. I, th mm, I really want to make that. All right, I'm going to keep this in my inventory here because <laughs> I might get back to that. But first, let us unidentify all of this stuff. Or let's identify, not unidentify. That would mean we unlearn it. That wouldn't make sense. Anyway, all right, we got stuff. So this is the vault sword. Let's compare it to ours. That's comparing it to the boots, apparently. All right. So it actually has more attack damage, less attack speed, more durability, chaining attack, and sweeping hit chance. That's actually pretty decent. Not gonna lie. That is not too bad. Attack speed is a little bit less though, I can tell. But the attack damage is, you know what, I'll keep, I'll keep it in here. I'll keep it in here. It's pretty good. Not too amazing though. All right, we got the Vault Shield here. Durability, block chance, thorns damage, and thorns chance, and plus three health. This, I'm, I'm just gonna get that immediately, except that I don't have any ammo. Hold on, let me just get all my sticks out. Nyeh. Hello, good sir. Oh, you have a discount. Uh, unbreaking three. Is that worth it? I think that's worth it because I don't know how rare shields are. So I'm going to do that. Nice. We got a shield and we don't have to do anything. It's just going to do it automatically. Let's take a look at the chest plate here. Uh, mana increased 9% increased damage and item rarity. That's not bad. It's almost the same, actually. Defense actually goes down a bit. So does our mana. Damage goes up a little bit. Yeah, 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 I'm not sold on that. Let's take a look at the boots real quick. Uh, plus five armor, a um, uh, little bit more mana. No health though. Empty prefix, that would be ideal to get that up. Also doesn't have the health. Uh, hmm, overall they're kind of the same. Defense, hearts does go down. Yeah, again, I don't, th I don't think I'm, nah. Nah, I'm not sold yet. We, of course, also have the bounty reward. There we go. Now, hold up here, because we have this. We need this extraordinary type. Okay, yeah, we still don't have enough type to do that. All right, let's take, a look, let's take a quick look at this. The Vault Forge is used to craft gear and weapons, as well as powerful trinkets once they have been unlocked. Crafting gear increases proficiency further, honing your skills and forging specific types of gear. Acquire a Vault Forge. Can we not do that? There we go. Vault Forge. Forge. I suppose we might as well just make some of this stuff here. Uh, chromatic steel, blast furnace, hmm. chromatic steel. I do have that. And all I need now is a blasting furnace, which if I don't remember wrong, I do remember wrong. And there we go. A vault forge has been acquired and we're going to place that right down here. So this means we can eventually be making our own uh, vault armor, essentially. However, I don't think at this point in time we... We don't have any proficiency, so doing that right now is just, yeah, it's not going to be worth it. We can, however, go ahead and complete this and take a look at magnets real quick, even though we already have one. Magnets suck up loot within a radius of the player. They, as soon as they synergize exceptionally with affinities and breaking chests within the vault and can speed up your looting significantly. Yes. Magnets also have modifiers that can be applied to enhance their strength. To equip a magnet, press the curious button that is next to your helmet slot within your inventory and place the magnet in the belt slot. Forge a magnet in the vault forge. Well then. 
I'm being forced to make a make a magnet. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. I need another writing it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's craft a magnet. Ooh. Okay. Who knows? Maybe this is going to be better than the one I already have. All right. Let's see. Let us compare. Let's take mine out and let's compare. So the range is a little bit lower. Velocity is horrible. And yeah, actually range is a little bit higher. Velocity is much slower though. And this has copiously. So yeah, I think I am good. But it still gave me some volt alloy. Not too bad. And now we're getting towards the artisanization, re-rolling gear modifiers and scrapping vault gear, which I'm going to wait with for the next episode. However, the next thing that I do want to make is this. I could choose a different, some different kinds of seals here, but I really, really do want to do an elixir rush. So I think that's what we're going to do. We could do a cake hunt as well, but I might not complete that. Hunt the guardians. That sounds scary. And scavenger hunt, I think that will come on its own later down the road. Same with Elixir uh, Rush. However, this is the one that I cho choose to make. There we go. I did it. <laughs> I made the seal of the sage. And now that I am super curious, what's the recipe? Coal or charcoal. I can get behind that. Carrots. I don't have carrots. I don't have carrots at all. Nor do I have bones. I have one bone. Hmm. I may have an idea. There's a shipwreck here in the corner that I have not been to yet. Maybe that will have what I seek. There it is. Very treasure map. And carrots. Yes. And coal actually. Moss. I will take that as well. That's good. Didn't get any bones unfortunately. However, they are not that hard to come by. Target acquired. Fire. Oh yeah. I missed. Come on. There we go. Final bone. And then... Uh. Not final bone then. Need more bone meal. And finally, that was more complicated than it should have been. And so I'm pretty sure if I go ahead, make an anvil, place that here, and combine these two, we have an elixir rush crystal. I am super excited to try and run this vault. However, you will have to wait for the next episode, because I'm going to end it on a cliffhanger right here in the next episode we're going to be running this vault right here and we're going to be continuing in the quest line of course towards scrapping our vault gear getting more xp and vault objectives etc so guys i really hope you have enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave it a like subscribe if you do enable those notifications if you haven't done so already but that's gonna be it for this one hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time have a wonderful day and goodbye